Hey, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Adam Claremont for BreakingAudio.com and AdamClaremont.com. Thank you for joining us for another video in the great world of audio. This time, I'm going to be sharing with you four tips on how to get that telephone audio effect on your dialogue or on your vocals for your videos or for your music, whatever you're working on. But first, hit the bell, subscribe to this channel. If you like videos on how to optimize Pro Tools and Ableton, get the most out of it, get great at mixing within those platforms, then this is where you want to be. Every single week, at least once a week, we're dropping a video right here, breaking audio series on the Over It Studios YouTube channel. So please show some support, let us see the love, and subscribe right now. All right, so into the video. All right, so here's a common effect we see a lot uh, in music and in film, television, et cetera, whatever you're kind of doing. You know what I'm talking about. So I just recorded this quick little clean VO. Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound like a telephone? Har har, right? So here's four tips for you really quickly. Uh, this will be a short video. And all of them I'm using stock plugins. So first of all, uh, EQ stock. We're just going to go with the Avid EQ3 7 band. And lo and behold, you've got some defaults right here for the telephone. So this is a real, like it's, it's basically a band effect, right? You've got a high pass cut up real high and you've got a low pass brought down low with a, a peak, right? So here's what we got. Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound like a telephone? So it starts to break up, it's band passed, right? So yeah, it sounds like a telephone, sure, I'm buying it. Um, I'm gonna show you another one though, because if you think about it, telephone sounds have sort of changed over time, right? So this one actually is under a reverb. So if we go into space, which is where? Right down here. This is an amazing convolution reverb free with Avid and comes with a ton of awesome free presets. And in fact, you can also Google IR files and find a whole bunch of other free ones that I've got loaded up here too as well. Um, so we're gonna go into post-production and speakers and phones, lo and behold, and we've got this telephone right here. So let's hear what this one's like. Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound like a telephone? I'm gonna bring up the volume because this is so band passed, it's really low. Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound like a telephone? Right, so that one's like all squealy. Like, you know, again, we're talking about like different eras of telephones. So this one's super messed up the way they used to be. And another thought is today with cell phones, I feel like they're getting a little bit better, right? So why don't we grab the first EQ. Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound like a telephone? I'm gonna bring the volume up on that. Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound like a telephone? And I would start to make it sound a little more current. I would bring the high pass down a little bit lower. Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound like a telephone? Because I feel like we're getting a little bit more of that low end in phones these days. And the same with the top. Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound like a telephone? Just a touch. Actually, I feel like a lot of phones these days are kind of sibilant, so I want to hear some of the S's. Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound like a telephone? Just a little bit. And then the thing is, too, it's like when we're mixing, you know, or doing sound design like this, sometimes embellishing it is kind of the way to go because we want to sort of force that sound uh, upon our listeners so they totally, completely understand what we're going for. Like, they can't miss it. So... Um, I'm going to go into the harmonics. I'm going to go to, once again, another stock, lo-fi. And let's just play the distortion and saturation settings just to get a, a touch of breakup. Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound like a telephone? Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound like a telephone? Yo, Adam, can you make my there voice is. sound like a telephone? Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound like a telephone? So we still have like a wider bandwidth now, you know, a wider frequency response but it's still kind of breaking up on those peaks like we're sort of used to hearing from phones. So again, it's just another take on it. Uh, subtle, and it might be a little too subtle for all practices. But here's the other idea, and it's super simple. Um, call yourself, leave yourself a voicemail, or have a friend do a voicemail, and you can either send that voicemail and import it into Pro Tools or just play the, vo the voicemail back into a microphone, which is what I did. Yo, Adam, can you make my voice sound just like a telephone? Right, so, you know, four easy ways to get uh, telephone effects, like I mentioned, you know, this is gonna be a quick video. But the other thing is to, you know, think about what the purpose is, why you're doing the the, the phone effect. 
if it's for tele uh, for television or film or a video you're making, um, and you've got dialogue between two people on phones, well, you, you don't want to use the same effect on both people, right? Because that sounds like they're in the same space, and you want to kind of get that that differential, that that difference between the two conversations. So what you can do is just you know grab two of these, pick two, and just play with them. So here's like a conversation, a totally normal conversation that anybody would have um, with two different phones. Totally normal conversation. Yo, Adam, did you subscribe yet to the Over It Studios YouTube channel? Okay, sure, sure. I'll do it right now. Right now. Cool. Okay, now next, go to the Adam Claremont YouTube channel. Subscribe to that one, too. Okay, sure. This isn't embarrassing or shameless at all, is it? No, not at all. I think this is totally normal. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, great advice from our two friends and some tips on how to find and create uh, your telephone effects for your next film, television, show, or uh, you know, music track. So again, <laughs> shameless reminder, hit that subscribe button. The support means a lot. It goes a long way, I'm trying to give you as much value as we can with these videos. So uh, breaking audio, adamclaremont.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.